is Hal 9000. Hal 9000, or Ha, is an artificial intelligence in fiction. It's a fiction character and main big enemy in author C. Clarke's Space Odyssey series. First appearing in 1968 film, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Ha is an artificial general intelligence computer that controls the system of the Discovery One a spacecraft and interacts with space uh, astronaut crew. In the film, Ha speaks in a very soft, calm voice and conversational manner in contrast to the crewmen David Bowman and Frank Cole. Uh, according to the film, Ha became operational on January 12, 1992 at the Ha Laboratories in Illinois as production number three. The activation year was 1991 in early screenplays and changed into 1997 in Clark's novel, written and released almost in parallel in conjunction with the movie. In addition to uh, maintaining the Discovery One spacecraft system during the interplanetary mission to Jupiter or in Saturn in the novel, Hall has been uh, shown to be capable of almost everything to help the human crew to maintain the spaceship. For example, he takes the mainly responsibility of the um, spacecraft piloting and, um, and daily maintenance and, and other capabilities such as speech synthesis, speech recognition, uh, facial recognition, natural language processing, lip reading, uh, art appreciation, interpreting emotional behaviors, automated reasoning, and computer chess. Uh, in the novel, there's a difference between the novel and the movie. In the no novel, uh, the mission is actually to Saturn, uh, even further compared to Jupiter, which is uh, mentioned in the movie. But uh, I think uh, in the movie, just want to simplify it. So it just uh, said the Jupiter, but in the novel, it's uh, Saturn. But it, I think it doesn't matter. So in uh, 2001 the Space Odyssey, Paul is uh, initially considered a dependable member of the human crew. He basically maintaining ship functions and engaging generally with his human uh, crewmates on an equal footing. But uh, because also in the other series of Space Odyssey, there is a Saw 9000, or Saw, I, I forgot. It's the digital twin, uh, a kind of twin sister of Hall uh, is a she, but in this novel, uh, Hall is a he. So uh, in a recreational activity, Frank Paul, the human crew in the Discovery One, plays chess against Hall. In the film, the artificial intelligence is shown to triumph easily. However, as time progresses, Hall begins to malfunction in subtle ways, and as a result, the decision is made to shut down Hall in order to prevent more serious malfunction. In the film, David Bowman, the uh, main character, the as uh, as astronauts in, uh, in, the, in the Discovery spacecraft, and his uh, crew member Frank Poe consider to disconnect Hall's cognitive circuits when he appears to mistakenly reporting the presence of a thought in the, in the spacecraft communication antenna. They attempt to conceal what they are discussing, but uh, are unaware that Hall can read their lips. Faced with pr uh, pr perspective dis dis disconnection, Hall decides to kill the astronauts in order to protect and continue his program directives. Hall uses one of the uh, Discovery's EVA pods to kill Paul when he is repairing the ship. When Bowman, without a space helmet, uses another pod to attempt to rescue Paul, Hall locks him out of the ship and disconnects the life support systems of the other hibernating crew member. There are basically uh, three hibernating crew uh, members in, discover, uh, in the Discovery uh, spacecraft, uh, spacecraft, and they know the true reason of the purpose of the, uh, of the, of the journey, but uh, Paul and uh, David didn't know it. But Hall know it, uh, but he has to uh, hide this secret uh, from, from the other two crew members. Uh, after Hall tells him this is mission too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it, Bowman uh, circumvents Hall's control, entering the ship by manually opening an emergency airlock with his uh, service pod's clamps, detaching the pod door via its explosive bolts. Bowman jumps across empty space, re-enters Discovery, and quickly re-pressurizes the airlock. While Hall's motivation are ambiguous in the film, the novel explains that computer is unable, uh, unable to resolve a conflict between his general mission to relay information accurately and orders specific to the mission requiring that he withhold 
from Bowman and Poe, the true purpose of the mission, with the crew dead, Hall reasons he would not need to lie to them. So that is uh, Hall's artificial uh, consciousness tell him to do so. Uh, in the film, and also in the novel, Bowman then proceeds to shut down the machine. In the film, Hall's central core is uh, depicted as a crowd place space full of brightly lit computer modules mounted in a ray from which they can be inserted or removed. Bowman shuts down Hall by removing modules from service one by one. As he does so, Hall's consciousness degrades. Hall finally reverts to material that was programmed into him early in his memory, including announcing the date he became operational as 12 January 1992. Um, in the novel 1997, when Hall's logic is completely gone, he begins singing the song Daisy Bell as he gradually deactivates. Hall's final act of any significance is to prematurely play a pre-ordered message from Mission Control, which reveals the true reasons for the mission to Jupiter. So that is Hall's destiny, and so this is the story of uh, Hall 9000. I think as uh, uh, AI machine. He uh, in the novel, he uh, the author basically assumed that Hall Nine Thousand has its self consciousness and has its self reason reasoning uh, capability. But uh, apparently, compared to human being, he uh, in in the author's assumption, he cannot basically uh, Hall cannot um, tell the lies. So he had the interesting thing is Hall even has the conscience conscience so he uh, feel there's a different uh, directive in his AI uh, artificial intelligent mind uh, which is uh, one is from the mission control that tell tell him the true mission to the true purpose of the mission to Saturn or to Jupiter and, and another um, mission uh, requirement to him is uh, to ask him to um, hold this secret from other two crew members in the Discovery uh, spacecraft. So uh, in parallel, he has to pursue the mission, uh, the true purpose of the mission. And another thing is he has to lie to uh, Dave Bowman and Frank Poe that uh, the true purpose mission is, is not, uh, uh, I mean, lie to them uh, from time to time that to conceal the true purpose of the mission. So that is the uh, main reason to cause Hall um, uh, some malfunction, that there's a conflict system in his mind and uh, making him feel that, um, as said in the novel, uh, in, if in human being that will uh, uh, feel like a guilt, something like cheat with your partners or um, telling lies to your good friends. So Hall cannot bear that. But in his simple AI, con uh, sim simple AI mind, he, um, he, he realized this. But he does not want to, how to say, does not want to admit it. So he um, is trying to find his own solutions. From AI point of view, he uh, want to destroy, to, as the novel said, to disconnect the connection between the Earth mission control and the spacecraft. And also to uh, destroy the target that he is lying to which is Dave Bowman and other crew members, even in the hibernating state of the, the other two, three uh, crew members. I, I forgot two or three, but uh, the, the, the other crew members in, in the hibernating cabin. A cabin. So uh, uh, I, I think the, uh, the author, uh, Arthur Clarke, that uh, make a very good um, comparison between the horse uh, um, conflict mind with uh, with a human has the uh, illness of uh, of the mental illness. Sometimes uh, they in the in the subconsciousness uh, they realize this is a mental problem, but they don't even want to admit it. So uh, unconscious uh, half I think half unconsciously and ha uh, half consciously they uh, want just want to destroy the source that uh, making that 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 is making them uncomfortable. So that is why. Um, Hall 9000 uh, disconnect the link between Earth and at the same time, in the same time, uh, destroy the crew member. So he is kind of uh, heal, heal the mind uh, illness of himself. So the next uh, reason is uh, 
the, the next question is, does AI really have such com com complex self-consciousness? I mean, uh, in the future, does uh, AI that made by our human ourselves can really make such complex um, minded AI that uh, even have his own, although very simple, but his own very, his, his very own consciousness and conscience, even the conscience. Um, I don't know, but uh, I think in many, many, um, uh, in many, many um, science fiction novels, uh, many authors assume that they have, they, they will in the, in the future definitely have the self-consciousness and even the conscience. Mm, some are bad machines, some are good machines, but I think Hal 9000 in the history of science fiction novel is a really complex character. He kind of struggles with himself, and uh, I, think th I think that part is very deep. He's actually not so evil. He is pitiful, just like us human. Although Hal is made by human ourselves, it's more like a, um, it's very uh, I think it's a, has a very attachment of our uh, own uh, own um, suffer, suffer as human being. So that 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 is why I like like Hall Nine Thousand very much. I mean, compared with other AI character in the science fiction history. Um, I, I think that's it. <laughs>